What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about James Cameron and apparently people are getting mad because he didn't sign autograph and uh, it's being called out. How dare him not to sign autograph for its fans, such a bad human being. So let's watch this uh, video that it's going viral right here together and then we discuss about it, all right? Shall we? Let's make this big if it works and let's go James bump. James Cameron swears at fans after they beat him for not signing autographs. I honestly don't know what he says here. It's like he says no, whatever, but I, I don't hear a curse. After they beat him for not signing autographs. Wow, there's literally somebody screaming on top of his lungs, you suck, F you, F Avatar, and so on and so forth. Scumbag, wow. As you notice, those are all male adult voices. And most likely, you know this, those are not fans. Those are most likely are people that, look at this, they, they, they have like several posters or whatever, pictures same same picture and those are just reseller paparazzi reseller i've seen these myself several times when i was both in hollywood and either back in the day in 2011 12 in new york in front of david letterman's studio i went there a few times and literally every day there were already people prepared with the merchandise of the artist that was coming in but no one literally like 15 t-shirts or 15 posters the gadget, the, the statue or the puppet neatly wrapped still in the box. And they tried to get as many as possible. Literally, I saw the guy there going like this, like first poster and then they move, second poster and move and move. Like really like it was trying to get as much as possible because you know, those people that are going to resell it online. So I don't buy it for a second that those were fans and especially especially when you hear like the behavior man there's literally this guy with an incredible rage screaming on top of his lung you suck and then you have to think like wow as soon as things don't work the way they expected then their true colors really came out and they start to arrest the guy calling him name names just being so incredibly toxic and aggressive so that to me that really tells me those are no real fan a real fan perhaps would have been disappointed but not immediately be with such rage and anger Pay off a all. I mean, how entitled those people are. It's incredible. Honestly, I don't understand why on some social media some are siding with those people. I mean, James Cameron doesn't own them absolutely anything, especially when they are reseller, which they just want to use the time and capitalize and speculate on somebody notoriety for a good paycheck. Maybe those things, they go upward, I don't know, $80, $100 or more, whatever they can get, of course. So they didn't get the payday and now they're upset and they really start to show their colors. So I would say uh, James Cameron did an amazing Sigma move. Absolutely super Chad. If anything, I have bigger respect for James Cameron for not giving in to this type of like scavengers because that's what they are they're scavengers and uh, i think they also ruin it for sometimes when there are real fans in places that actually truly desire an autograph from the person that they follow or like you know somebody's gonna buy this thing online believing oh this was sold was done at the gala this man was there and he was dancing with james cameron and he felt so compelled that he had to sign his tuxedo and he's saving all of it in a in a in a box 
and he could only part with this cup that I bought for $500 or whatever story, you know, they will attach to it. And you know that most of the time this is where they come from. I find it absolutely unreasonable behavior. Look at this. I mean, they have absolutely no right to his time. And this type of behavior is absolutely unjustified. So uh, I'm surprised that people side with some of those um, uh, speculators. And I think it's probably also people which they enjoy as soon as they have a possibility to call out somebody that is famous uh, to point the finger because that's how they thrive. You know, they thrive on the, let's say, on the suffering or on humiliations of others to try to put them down. So whatever occasion they have, they try to jump on the wagon. For me, I stand honestly in this case absolutely on the side of James Cameron. Those people, they have absolutely no reason to behave in this incredibly aggressive manner towards somebody that is just coming out of a building and going somewhere else. James Cameron, if he wants to stop by and sign, great. If he doesn't, you're not entitled to its time. It's not your pet, you know? He doesn't leave in function to you. You know, it's not just, just there for you whenever you deem it necessary. Oh, because I bought the ticket to your movie, now therefore you should dance for me. I mean, it's normal human decency and behavior to allow each other freedom and space. And it's uh, the person's, you know, decision if he wants to stop by and spend more time for the people they're waiting, you know, that's it. So I absolutely don't don't agree with this type of mob mentality, especially displayed here with this much toxicity, honestly. So thumbs up to James Cameron for being a real mega chad. And uh, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. I find it to be absolutely, absolutely silly. And uh, please consider subscribing if you want. Talk to you later. Ciao.